from Super Mom's Kitchen. I'm another new recipe. This is cabbage pakoda. Now you're going to have finely, very finely chopped cabbage, two and a half cups of very finely chopped cabbage, one large onion chopped, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, four green chilies chopped finely. You can add less or more according to the spice that you need. Two cups of gram flour. One teaspoon of salt. A bunch of coriander leaves. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. One teaspoon heaped of coriander powder. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Even that, it depends on the spice that you need. Now we're going to saute the onions first, then the ginger garlic paste, green chili, and the cabbage just for a little while, just for two minutes, so that the raw taste is over. And then we're going to add the dry ingredients and mix it with a little water to make it into a thick batter with the gram flour and we're going to deep fry the pakodas. So added the onions, we're going to add in the ginger garlic paste. Added the ginger garlic paste. Next we're going to add in the green chilies. Only a little oil is needed for sauteing the vegetable. Now drop in the green chilies. Next, we're going to drop in the cabbage. So we add in the cabbage, we'll drop in the dry ingredients, the coriander powder, the chili powder and the turmeric powder. And then next we add the cabbage. Drop in the dry ingredients. See, now next we add in the cabbage. And the salt. Stir it well. You don't need to saute it for long, just a little, just for two minutes is enough. I'm going to drop in the coriander leaves. If you like it raw, just don't need to saute the coriander leaves. Well, we're going to make this gram flour into a thick batter and drop in the sauteed cabbage. I've dropped in the cabbage. You can mix it well to a thick batter with salt. Now your batter is ready. See how thick it is? And we're going to drop it into the oil. Just take half a scoop of the half a teaspoon of a scoop and drop it into the oil. Make it crispy. You can have it with tomato sauce or even with uh, pudina chutney or coconut chutney or whatever you want. It's It should be taken hot and crispy. While it's hot, it's tastier. Just drop in a small piece of, just to check if the oil is hot enough for frying. Well, it's now hot. Now we're going to drop in the pakodas it's a wonderful snack for children who would not like to take cabbage so it's healthy and children can have cabbage in the pakodas now turn it the other way around so that both the sides get crispy and brown. See? Now we have turned it the other way around and let's wait for it to be crispy. So you are going to enjoy 
my new recipe cabbage pakoda well, your hot steaming cabbage pakoda is all done and ready to serve hope you enjoy this new recipe i'll be back soon with another new recipe thank you for watching my video bye from supermom's kitchen